Okay, it's John Riley coming to you from sunny South Florida. Really nice out today. Um, it's a 3120 I'm working on for my buddy in Louisiana. Um, this piece was broke on the throttle. What a pain in the ass. Um, he bought a whole rear tank assembly. And um, my friend Mike Glock has ordered him the piece too. So he's got an extra one. But um, this is the color he wanted it. The turquoise Al alpine green, Detroit diesel green. Um, I'll show you the spray can. The duple color is pretty good shit. On some of the colors, um, they come out great. Like this particular one in blue, Ford blue, comes out really nice. And the red does too. But um, you can lay it out and it comes out nice. Um, I think it works better than the still spray paint um, as far as the finish goes. But anywho, I just got it running. Brand new throttle cable. Brand, not brand new, but uh, a decent rear half. Here's the rear half that was on it. Um, I had to uh, modify the, the fuel line. I had to put another fatter piece of fuel line around it. Um, the oil pump works well. Uh, it's got a stock coil. I ported the cylinder. I did a lot of transfer work to it. But it's for like milling and um, you know work, modified work saw basically. Um, even like the choke lever, look, it's missing the end, but it works, whatever. And it gets full throttle. It's a new cylinder, new main bearings, new seals, so on and so forth. I'll crank it up. I can get this thing to sit right in the picture um i don't mind personally that coil's got a super low rev limiter on it but these rods are known to go bad so i think you make the power between there you're fine i don't know about putting an unlimited coil on it with the stock rod you can just got to be careful but um this thing's got excellent throttle response so far we'll just have to hit some wood with it and see how it works but um, I opened the exhaust port up a little bit, did a tiny bit to the intake, just just to kind of wake it up a little bit. And um, uh, base gasket delete, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I did it or not. But that's that. It came out pretty good, though. Put OEM decals on it. Yeah. Thanks for watching.